this is another episode of Hero Head Cannon. Nope, you guys won't be able to get rid of me too easily. Maybe if a certain mad titan knew how to do his job a little better, you wouldn't have to listen to me rambling about the type of characters that come to kick his butt. Speaking of the heroes that will be swinging in to take on Thanos, I'm pretty sure Spider-Man is among the Avengers. See, you see what I did there with with the swinging. <laughs> I will up my pun game. Anyway, Spider-Man is one of the most famous superheroes ever, and one of the other heroes that hang with him is none other than Batman. Get it? Because spiders, bats, hang upside down. And this video is going to tackle something I've sort of noticed as of late. Is Marvel making a Spider-Man family to answer DC's Bat family? Here's why I think so. Spider-Man, Peter Parker, is Batman, in the sense that they are the main guy. The one that started it all, with a family tragedy that hangs over their head, causing them to brood so much that it almost gets to the point of self-parody. Insert Tobey Maguire crying, Uncle Ben! Here, and the Batman slapping Robin, screaming, my parents are dead, meme, also here. Oh, right. Don't have a budget for that. <laughs> Luckily, there are enough differences to make up for this. Batman is the true master of being dark and brooding. While Spider-Man usually tends to make a wisecrack here and there. Miles Morales, Spider-Man, is Nightwing, Dick Grayson. Miles Morales is, at least right now, the rightful heir to the Spider-Man mantle, should Peter Parker die again. <laughs> Just as Dick Grayson is the rightful heir, at least until way into the future, for the Dark Knight mantle. And because people get confused by saying, oh, he is Spider-Man just from a different universe... I mean, come on, gang. Multiverses should be an easy concept to understand by now, by how much other works of fiction use them. But because this concept is hard for people to get, unfortunately, Miles has taken many other monikers in his years. He's been Spider-Man, Spidey, and as my officially licensed action figure has him billed as Kid Arachnid. I kind of like that. It's, it's the right kind of stupid. <laughs> Even Dick Grayson has been Robin, Agent 37, Nightwing, and Batman. That's just... And that's just the main names he's taken. Ben Riley is Jason Todd. The Red Hood and the Scarlet Spider. Now that's enough to get a bull angry. You, you get it? Is the color red. <laughs> These two have similar t traits. Both have taken the main mantle at times. Both have connections to convoluted plots. I'm looking at you, Superboy, punching reality and somehow causing Jason Todd to come back to life. And you, entirety of the clone saga. And both were dead. For a good while. <laughs> then there's the fact that when both were brought back, they both left trails of bodies in their wakes. And also, both have costumes that feature a cool jacket of some type. Even if the sleeveless hoodie on Scarlet Spider isn't practical, it still looks cool, dang it. Silk is Cassandra Kane. Don't know the names of the analog girl Cindy Moon? Or about the new the mute Please stand by. Again, as I was saying, Silk is Cassandra Kane. Don't know the names of the analog girl, Cindy Moon, or about the mute ninja Batgirl, aka Black Bat, that was lethal? Yeah, don't feel bad. These characters, while interesting in their own rights, 
fall deep into the shadows of the next people on my list. Gwen Stacy, Spider-Gwen, Barbara Gordon, Batgirl. Both have a kick-ass costume that cosplayers, toy fans, and everyone else fell in love with. Both were at least, sorta, characters that were a focal point in dark stories that still haunt comics to this day. Both could easily be shown to be smarter than our main hero, and both have been underutilized in live-action movies. And both have had controversial sex stories. And no, I'm not talking about bad fan fictions either. Annie Mae, Spiderling, and Damian Wayne Robin. While one of these con characters is considered not canon, thanks to a certain someone selling their marriage to the devil, no, I will not let that go! No self-respected comic book lover should ever let that go. Spider-Man is at least, at one point or another, everyone's favorite superhero. There is no way him selling his marriage to the devil should ever be forgot until it is undone and addressed proper. Please stand by. Oh, okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Anyway, going back to Annie and the little snot, these will always be the blood children of our main hero, and both have some sort of controversy surrounding them, like also considering the fact that Damien is a child of rape. Yes, men can be raped too. Hashtag time's up, Tolly Al Ghoul. Disclaimer, your headcanon is in no means attempting to make light of the Time's Up movement. Jerk sex fiends should be punished for their inability to conduct themselves in a proper manner instead of abusing their power. Moving right along to other technically blood children, we have Spider-Girl, Mayday Parker, and Batman Beyond, Terry McGinnis. While originally set as the blood daughter to our web slinger, once again, thanks to a certain ridiculous DEAL WITH THE DEVIL! Please stand by. Alrighty then. Mayday has sort of become lost of time. But like Batman Beyond, both show a good future version of our favorite heroes that also keep the original versions around to aid in guiding the next generation. And have a less lame supporting universe around them. Looking at you, 2099 versions of almost everyone else. Next, we have Anya Corazon and Stephanie Brown. These are characters that are relatively, and sadly, also forgotten. Which is sad because both have a quasi-fun innocence to them. Even if they have been in dark stories. And that's what makes it sad to me. Because they serve to show that, yes, bad things can and will happen. But you should keep a positive outlook on life and... Do your part to make it better for everyone else. Please stand by. Next is Batwoman and Spider Woman. Both, for the most part, are like the cousins that we hardly ever see with the core family, but do have the name in the name, obviously. And do have interesting stories behind them. There have been many characters to take on this mantle, and the most current iterations of these characters both have something to make them interesting, with Kate Kane, Fat Woman, being a member of the LGBT community, and Jessica Drew, Spider Woman, being a single mother. Next is the Cat. Catwoman and Black Cat. An anti-hero and sometimes love interest with superpowers. Sometimes. Weirdly. For no real good reason, but... The superpowers are there. Sometimes. 
even though... Ugh. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> One is a lot more successful in the love interest department, though. Just saying. I ain't seen Spidey putting a ring on Felicia. So I'ma just say, bye, Felicia. Celine and Kyle would probably just steal the ring anyway, though. But that would just be a cat cash to your feet. Ah! 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 Next is the get off your ass, you lazy bum man. Commissioner James Gordon and J. Joan Jameson both spur our main hero in action, but in different ways. Gordon leads the charge and aids Batman in any way he can, whereas Jameson Jameson yells a lot. Both have been played by the great J. Kane Simmons, and both have worn the main hero's costume at least once. And lastly, the parental figures, Aunt May and Alfred Pennyworth. Both have raised our main hero, fixed and fed them when the time came, will be the first one to give the hero a good ass-chewing out if need arises, and if the lives of these people are ever in danger, will be the thing to set off the hero and cause them to do something so utterly stupid like sell their marriage to the devil! Please stand by. Well, gang, that's it for today. Know any more Spider Family, Bat Family comparisons? I would love to read about them in the comments down below. For Hero Headcanon, this is Josh Redburn, and see you next time. Oh, and I want to do a quick shout out to my friend Daniel Wells for the uh, awesome Hero Headcanon graphic title card dealy. Um, thanks again. <laughs> uh, see y'all next time.